it's free. So we're going to be talking about 10 tips of working with R. I basically gathered these tips by watching several tutorial videos and reading through great blogs. So these tips are meant to help you get started and to keep you motivated when you're in the weeds and trying to learn how to code. So let's begin. The first tip, most important tip of all actually, is to download and install R and also get R Studio. You should also practice installing packages and you can actually use Swirl um, to practice and get your feet wet. It's basically a site that allows you to learn R while you're using R. And you can just Google Swirl or um, the link is swirlstats.com. Be curious. So curiosity is good for you. You, um, you should ask several questions of the data. You need to be really interested in the outcome. It will really increase your interest and enhance your focus as you're learning. Work on a project. Nothing beats working on a project. Search the web for sample projects, um, data competitions that you can take part in, and don't hesitate. Just get started. Your first project likely won't be glamorous or perfect, but you'll learn from it in a way that reading just won't allow you to learn. Don't get discouraged. R isn't the simple language to learn. Um, you need to stay motivated because once you learn a few things, you will really feel accomplished and no one is ever proud of the simple things they achieve. People are usually proud of tackling something complex, so this gives you something to be proud of. Never stop learning. The web has so many free resources, tips, tutorials on how to use R. They have some sample packages that you can download and you can use all of this to your advantage. Familiarity. So start with data that you already know. You'll, it's gonna be much easier to make sense of it all if you're familiar with the data points or at least the topic is familiar to you. Make it fun. So visualization is fun. Try to get creative, build charts, graphs, and make them really colorful. It'll allow you to see what you're doing and it'll motivate you to keep going. Commentary. Try to add comments to your code so you can go back and see what you wanted to achieve. And by documenting your code, you basically give yourself a specific task or codes that you need to create. It's a great way to learn and it allows others to understand your code. So you insert comments by starting a statement with a pound or hash sign, just like we have here, pound and hashes. Grammar. Use proper coding language. Check out some of the style guides on the web and find one that works for you. Consistency is key and like any other language, it allows others to understand you. So Google actually has a good R style guide and here's the link that you can use to find it or just search for it online. This is the link on the bottom. And the last one is get to know other technologies that you can use with R. For example, Shiny. It can be used to create your own interactive web, app web applications in R. So thank you for watching our 10 tips on working with R.